finally we're getting into some exciting things from free run right we're getting into this new arc this is like a battle royale kind of deal where everybody's kind of separate into groups of threes you're basically trying to catch this bird which is fucking fast it's super fast it's actually kind of terrifying how fast it is right and there's also been mentioned that she can hear raindrops but it's not raining and somehow this is key in capturing that bird some of the other characters like Ubel, right she seems very interesting i mean i think a lot of people enjoy her for her dead eyes but she's got the eyes of a killer and Farron too i wonder how she's doing this is gonna get really interesting because they're both in the same group right hopefully we get to see some hype shit happen this episode let's begin well laid plans Freedren's basically babysitting these two kids. They're kind of cute though, right? It's like a tsundere and a... Um, I don't even know what the other one is. They kind of clash though, but they're cute. <laughs> no, Aizen's always scared. He said that himself. That's where the strength comes from though. <laughs> it's the teamwork camaraderie. What do you mean, Freedren? Himel just loosened up Aizen. Freerin doesn't care, right? She's just big chilling. She, she could just kill the dragon so easily, right? Yeah, the kids are sleeping perfectly fine while, you know, Freerin's like flashback. Everyone's like tense. Ooh. Wait, they caught it? She just skipped everything! But Farron's group is the one with Yubel in it. Interesting, they already caught the bird. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot about this rule. It's not just about capturing it. Other people are going to try to steal it. So actually, isn't it better to have like... I don't know, just like wait until like the last moment and just fucking steal, just yoink it at the very end, right? Just capturing it early doesn't really do much? <laughs> Yubel's ready to kill, man. Does anybody know what Yubel means in German? I heard that it's like... I don't know, I saw a random meme about it. Yeah, look at that thing. Look how fast it is! It's breaking the sound barrier, dude! <laughs> what the fuck?! So they have durability and they're fast. Like, what are you supposed to do? I love the bird animation, though. It's so fast. Mana detection. It just got everything. How the fuck did Farron's group catch it already? <laughs> they look so derpy here. Very cute though. <laughs> this is such a memeable picture right now between these two. Jesus! Oh, you can't find the easy mana detection because they have the mana. Okay. Eyes up here. Don't look at them. Spell. Doesn't it have to do with the rain sound or something? A spell that just captures a bird? That's it? Interesting. But we've already seen it once? Oh! Bulk magic. It just looks like a bird at works. Alright. We gotta get close enough to use it though. Why? Because of the rain sounds? 50 cents? What? You can't get it within the 50 centimeter disc? That's fucking impossible. They just run away so quick. You need like high detection, like, I don't know. Some kind of like stealth magic first. This show is showing their legs a lot, dude. Ton of water. Does that come with the rain sound again? I don't know. Rain is water? Dies. A lot of thighs. Like rain. <sighs> I 
the pattern of Lavina is better in my opinion than no pattern here because of the stitches. Somehow the stitching patterns makes it look more aesthetic than the simple pattern. Okay. I'm not gonna tell us the fucking plan! Tell us the plan! This show does fan service in the weirdest way. It's just so casual, right? It's just they just show a little thigh, just some legs here, just random. It's not like explicit, just titties right in your face, right? They just kind of like playfully play with the thighs or the feet. Another very memeable picture right there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at them blobs right there. I, I like it when the anime just like zooms out on the characters and you just have like dots for eyes. <laughs> You bell too? Can we fight them? Would Frieden fight Farron? No, not when I'm with you. <laughs> Cat girl Freeman again. Are you scared? I thought we were gonna have a heartfelt moment between these two. No. No. Get the fuck out of here. More Cat Freeman. Dude, she's done. Look at her. <sighs> oh god, the NSFW artists are gonna go have a fucking field day with this dude. Oh? Land, fourth party, second class mage. This is the guy in Farron's party, right? Land, second class. And Yubel's only third class because she killed a referee last time. She could be much higher, so they're very strong. And Farron? I swear to God, she's beyond first class. She took this third class, you know, she, she got this third class a long time ago, back with Hyder and shit. Well, I don't even know when, but people said this is a long time ago. I feel like, again, we are smurfing here. We are totally smurfing. Our power levels are being hidden. We're trying to condense them on at least free run is, right? Trying to hide that shit. But how really strong are they compared to some of the other contestants? That's what I want to know. Also, what the fuck is Stark doing right now? Is Stark just sleeping? Like, what, what is he doing? How did you catch it? They won't tell me how they caught it. Oh. Oh. Meaning the water has been all lifted out. There's a menace around taking all the water out. And you can hear the rain sounds again? The rain. Oh. What? Keeping that bird from not just run, just bursting out of that cage? Is it a magic cage? Oh. That's your problem. Oh, someone's listening. It's that silver hair dude. With the cool jacket. It's him. Oh, Fern noticed. Sheee! Look at that instant cast. Yo, that guy's going pretty hard. You bet loves this. Both sides love it. Sharf, third class maids, okay? Eh. Second class. Wait, the rocks are like flying in midair. Weird bell. Oh yeah, she is. This is the thing about Fern. Her face doesn't change. It's kind of terrifying. It's actually kind of scary. Especially if she keeps getting taller and will continue to just look down at you with this blank face. Like this is actually a terrifying look, dude. Look at that, no reaction! Bro had to avert his gaze! He couldn't make eye contact! Bro was like... <laughs> she, he fucking backed out there. <laughs> What's that? What? Don't tell me that's the spell to fucking break the barrier. Did we just break the barrier? Was that Frieden? What happened? The, the water! Wait, wait, Lavina is freezing the lake? Okay. Uh, what, what about that beam, though? What about, what about that beam? Bald! 
What are they thinking, dude? Oh, there she goes. They're gonna try to melt it? Oh, it's the dwarf guy. He's important too. Richter Denken. Denken is scheming. How is she running on ice so fast, dude? No, I guess that like beam towards the sky was just like the start of the ice match from Lavina. I thought they fucking broke the barrier or some shit. I thought freedom was fucking cooking. We're just looking for birds now? So we just freeze it and we're looking for the birds? <laughs> no reaction from Fern again. Like her facial expression never changes. Sometimes she pouts. Bald. Dude, this guy has done nothing but just sit on the side and just shit talk and judge other people. He's probably objectively correct too. Because it's frozen, the lakes are gone, so the birds are out, so now we're kind of going to the other areas to where the birds are. Okay, there must be a bigger plan though. Dude, he's still shit talking them. <laughs> this is the most pretentious party, dude. They haven't done shit. Oh, yeah? And he acknowledges our plan, though. I want to see Dwarf versus Frieden. Holy shit, this is so slow. <laughs> oh, yo, people are murdered. Monsters got him. Don't lick that blood. Don't lick it. No, no, don't. What was the point of that? I was half expecting him to go like this and fucking lick it. It's like, hmm, they must have died three hours ago. Nah, don't got time for that. They're circling? The bird monsters, yeah. Damn, people actually died taking his exam. There's magic on those corpses. Huh? Oh, that's smart as fuck from these birds. Can't believe they actually died taking this exam. Shit. Yeah, they just died. They didn't give a fuck. If you are so weak that you would die in a tutorial exam like this, then you don't deserve to be a magician, so we don't care. Is that their logic? <laughs> That's, I mean, shit, did you have to kill them though? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, they're willing to call the fucking population the magicians. We're already, wait, magicians are already so rare in this world, right? Like, we're almost going extinct. Isn't that the whole story? Like, ma mages don't really exist anymore. And the fucking guild associate is like, nah, hey, we gotta maintain the purity, you know? We don't give a fuck if our extinct species are dying off more. Isn't that a steely right there? Isn't, isn't that a steely right there on the bird? Anyways, there are those who dream of the powerful and noble mages who fought the Demon King's forces. The legendary elf mage that defeated the demon king is here, but don't worry about that, all right? When will they, like, can you, can you imagine if they realize, like, who's actually, like, Frieden is? Wouldn't that be insane to them? Because, like, they're saying that this is, like, a dream. Like, some people dream of, you know, becoming a mage like those who fought the demon king's forces. Not even directly the demon king himself, right? So, like, even in, like, the waiting lobby before this arc started, some guy was, like, sizing people up, looking at their mana. They looked at Frieden, but they saw that Frieden's mana quality was kind of, like, small. Obviously, because she's, you know, she's, she's fucking smurfing. But, oh, man, is there going to be a moment where Frieden fucking breaks the barrier and everyone's like, It can't be! The legendary elf?! What? Symbols of power. It's all for show? Unless you can control people's hearts, you're good as powerless. Damn, I didn't realize Ayano Koji was in this show, but he's kind of right. So again, it doesn't... In this current modern age of, I don't know, magicians, like becoming the strongest mage doesn't really do anything like back in the day. It's more about politics and it's about convincing people's hearts by just becoming a symbol of power as a first-class magician. Interesting. Oh, is that Denken when he was young? <laughs> okay. Interesting. 
Great power is feared, and rule by fear doesn't last long. Man, he is very wise. I was kind of saying that he's yapping a lot, and he's doing my fucking job of just talking, but... He's pretty wise. Magic isn't a noble thing? Weak? Yo, thank him, fuck him up! There's still a passage of water there. And branches on the ground. What does that mean? Oh, 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 Lavine? So, like, it seems like if you froze the lake, the birds won't be there anymore. And then our plan was to immediately run out and go to other sources of water because the Steelers would kind of go there next. Is that our plan? That, that's what it seems like we're doing, right? <laughs> Mana in the water. Remember, the birds can detect the mana too, right? So if you put the mana in the water, what does that really mean, though? I can't make the connections in my head. There's a small little bit of magic in it, okay. So, we already froze the lake. So, it feels like we are basically trying to force the direction of where the Steelers can go, right? We freeze the lake, they will no longer be there. We cast the mana into these different sources of water other than the lake, and now the birds will now, you know, avoid that place. So, somewhere in this map, we're basically positioning it so that the birds can only go to that one place. And my guess still is, when we corner the bird by spreading mana like this we break the barrier let the rain fall and let that one girl do something with the water magic to capture the bird is where my I, like thought process is <laughs> think is gonna take a nap <laughs> this is probably wise to just take a little rest yeah you think is a schemer i like him but we're basically just putting mana in every water of the body, bodies of water, and then, and then what though? So just wait here now, until we can get 50 centimeters close to use the binding spell. <gasps> oh, so you can completely suppress your mana so that she can actually get 50 centimeters in distance. I can't see. I, 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 I kind of saw it. I kind of saw it. I, I, I kind of saw it. Look, 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 look. There's a... There's a... Maybe I'm capping. Am I capping? No, I'm capping. I'm capping. I, 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 the outlines of her clothing right here, it changed a little bit. So I thought that was like the little glowy effect of the mana of the, of the shoulders. No, I'm capping. That, that was... That, that's just... It. No, no, that's not... I can't see shit. I can't see shit. <laughs> if it just rain, fucking bust the barrier, fucking break the barrier. So we just like sit here, play dead for a bird to show up. Wait, uh, an interesting monster has shown up. Hello, it's like a little deer dog. I don't even know what that is, dude. Cute looking deer dog. Oh, oh, oh. wrong bird. That's the killing bird. We don't even know how Fern caught the bird either. They just fucking caught it. Like, what? How? <gasps> Stide feathers. It's here. Right on her shoulder? That's 50 centimeters, baby. Binding spell. Easy. Dude, the suppression of mana is even helping here. <laughs> Surely everything is good, right? Yeah, we got it. Wait, why? Why? Denkin's been waiting. We can, though. Yo. Oh. Next episode is going to be a fucking all out battle, dude. Never mind. It's already starting. Interesting. Okay, land is actually fucking cold for this, dude. <laughs> this dude just fucking summoned magic, you know, used to ma make the feathers, I don't know, the flowers, the metal thing. He just stood there while doing his fucking typical glasses anime thing. Bro didn't even try to move. He was like, hmm. I already know where it's gonna go, dude. That shit was actually kind of cold. <laughs> I mean, it got a little cut here. So in my, I, in my head canon, I like to think that in his mind, land's thinking, fuck. I almost look really cool there. It, it kind of stings right now, but we'll ignore it. I can't keep, you know, I gotta look cool right now. 
Notice how Farron is only using the barrier on where it's needed, right? Because that was like an important thing of learning from free run. Like only use the barrier of just like min maxes. So you only need to use just as much as you need to reduce the output of mana. She basically just throws rocks at you. <laughs> what about omnidirectional beams? <laughs> Baron's a fucking boomer, dude, because she only gets taught by boomer magic from Frieden. <laughs> They're very refined, though. She's got the fundamentals down. Does that imply that she has advanced magic right now? What, she, what can she actually use? I've only seen Fern just use this rapid fire of those beam attacks, which is good against Lugner, but... That mages of this area, uh, sorry, era. That's a little disrespectful. Dude, her face doesn't change. <laughs> she can feel the pressure from Farron, dude. Ryuba lost the silver hair guy. We already fought him. Oh, she is? Actually? Interesting. Yeah, this is Weirbell. Ubel versus Weirbell. Their names are so hard to say. Wait, 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 what? Captain of the Northern Magic Corps. <laughs> we just had a fucking arc defeating Lugner and Aura. What the fuck do you know about Demon King's forces, bitch? So he plays very dirty, okay. No! I feel like Ubel is even more dirtier than Weirbel, you know? Like, you're just gonna talk about how he's so sinister, he goes like, does underhanded tactics. I don't know, man. Ubel killed a referee last time. Alright, that's the episode. Damn, this episode's hyping. It's it's getting really ramped up, right? Last episode was a little bit of like um introduction to the exam and what we're supposed to do. Catch these birds, right? The birds are really fast, so how do you catch them? Um we don't really know how Ubel and Fern's group catch them, but we basically just suppressed their mana, you know, froze the lake and put mana in different bodies of water so that the birds could only go to a specific location. Freedom will then suppress her mana and then the bird lands. Easy. But this dude, Denkin, he's been kind of, you know, been hyped up this episode. All he's done is just shit talk. All he's done is just walk around and cast judgment on people. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's because of his monocle or if it's because of his fucking magnificent beard. It just looks like he, he is him, right? So next episode, it's going to be an all-out battle. And here with Farron, I think that she is probably way stronger, right? I mean, the fact that we're just still only using basic magic and that's enough for mages of this era. Frieden, again, just like how someone said in my chat, she is straight up mocking an entire era of mages. How fucking disrespectful, but he's kind of right. So next episode, wouldn't it be crazy if Fern actually has some advanced magic that she was never using because, you know, Frieden fucking put a cap on her. It just feels like we are smurfing here. We don't know our true power level, and they don't know our true power level. And at some point, I expect the barrier of this place to get shattered so that the rain will fall down. Somehow, that I feel like, because they hyped up the barrier, I feel like something like that has to happen, but what the fuck do I know? But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.